Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a cooking video. So I just went to the grocery store to get some of the ingredients that I need for this recipe. I'm making a one pot lasagna meal that's going to be keto as well. So I'm really excited to try it and see how it affects my blood sugars after I eat it. If it does affect it, because I'm kind of hoping it won't, but it probably will a little bit, let's be real. So I'm going to show you what I got from the grocery store is gonna be like a haul. So, in my little reusable bag that I love, got it from Amazon, it's the best. Um, so the recipe calls for a lot of vegetables. So I will post the recipe on, uh, well, I'll link it below number one. But what's in it is like ground beef, zucchini, mushrooms, tomato sauce, um, actually have the, list right here spinach basil parsley onion um there is tomatoes in this like uh grape tomatoes but i despise tomatoes so i am not putting them in there but um i had some of the ingredients at home so what i just had to do was run out and get a few of them what i got was this is a little grocery haul mushrooms no sugar added chunky tomato sauce um a onion parsley and basil and ground beef so um, I already had I already had spinach um, and I already had spinach and garlic and all that stuff um, and oregano. Those are just the things I had to grab from the grocery store. It's time to cook. It's not even five o'clock, but I'm so hungry right now that I just am like ready to eat. Um, usually I don't eat this early, but I'm really hungry tonight. Also have plans later, so I'm gonna cook now and just get it done with and I can eat and be happy. Okay, so the app that I use to manage like all my recipes, manage, is Paprika. It's one of my favorites. I'm not getting paid to say this, but like you should really download it. I have all of my recipes in here. There's like a million, but I am making that one. It says the first thing to do is cut the zucchini. Two zucchinis here that I'm gonna wash off really fast. With the zucchinis, what you have to do is like peel them the long way so you have like strips of zucchini. Got my handy dandy peeler. The bad part on here. Okay, I realized I was using the wrong tool because I need a little bit of a thicker slice. So I think I'm just gonna try and like slide this guy down here. Oh baby, now we're in business. We got that thin zucchini that the recipe told me I needed. So the first step was to, let me read the first step. Step one, chop the ends of the, zu of the zucchini and use a mandolin slicer or a peeler, I use both, um, to slice down the zucchinis into long thin strips. Boom, I cut the zucchini in half, but I think that'll just make it a little easier to eat. So there's my long, thin strips of zucchini. God bless them. Now I need to pat them down with paper towels. Okay, so next I'm just gonna chop the onion up, my white onion. Um, I actually, this is my least favorite part about cooking. Cooking is one of my favorite things to do, which PS while I'm on this note, I am not a professional chef, so if I'm doing something that like the professionals don't do, sorry, but this is just a hobby of mine that I love doing. So anyway, also on that note, I have a chopper because I hate chopping onions. It's so annoying. I think before I move on with the next step, just while I have like my knife and everything out, I'm gonna chop up the basil and parsley. And lastly, we need to chop up some spinach. Wow, okay, first of all, excuse the messy kitchen behind me. I am in the middle of cooking. Second of all, one thing that I like to do uh, when I am cooking is like get everything out. So in the middle of cooking, I'm not like, oh my God, bah. So um, the recipe calls for, the recipe calls for um, a cup of marinara. So I know I can get that out early. Um, three cloves of minced garlic, um, tablespoon of salt, 
half tablespoon of black pepper, some dried oregano. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep all that now before I start cooking the meat, cause that's when stuff kind of starts going really fast, I feel. By the way, I should let you know, my blood sugar is 144 right now. 144, I just got in the weirdest angle to show you guys that, but um, I'm doing good pre-dinner. I just want to do some ASMR really quick and listen to the noise of a new jar of tomato sauce opening. Ooh! I just realized I need to chop the mushrooms, so I'm actually going to use Mr. El Chapo again and uh, chop a couple mushrooms up. So I'm all ready. Got some onions. Well, I have onions here and here, I just realized. Um, a couple mushrooms, a one white onion, garlic, salt and pepper, oregano, no sugar chunky um, tomato sauce, spinach, zucchini, obviously not all of it, basil and, or basil and parsley here as well. So after having everything prepped, I just have to start cooking the um, ground beef in here. Since I'm starting to go up a little bit, I'm 156 now, um, and since I'm starting to like actually cook dinner, I'm gonna take insulin now so it has enough time to kick in. And by the way, I'm gonna let you guys know what my blood sugar is um, like an hour after I eat and then two hours after I eat, maybe three. Um, but I am going uh, to meet up with a friend tonight for a drink, so we'll see how that affects my blood sugars as well. Yeah, so let me take some insulin. I'm probably gonna take, I'm gonna do 35 carbs, because again, this is a keto dish, so there's not a lot of carbs in any of it. Like in the um, tomato sauce, I think that's where the majority of the carbs would be. So there's nine grams for a half a cup, and I have a cup, so that's like 18 carbs right there. Obviously, I'm not eating all of it right now, so I'm gonna do 35 just to kind of incorporate everything in there, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know what emoji to use, so I don't know. Hmm, I don't think anything in here is gonna be slow acting, so let's do, there's a little tomato sauce, so I'm gonna do that one. Um, and hit save, it's going to tell me to take six units, so I'm going to do that. My Riley link is right over there on the counter, right there, and I should be good, all right. I'm gonna start cooking now. Always important when you're cooking to have good music, so hey Siri, shuffle my cooking playlist. My ground beef is done cooking, so I'm gonna put that in another plate right now. I'm going to add the garlic and onions. I added the zucchini, onions, mushrooms, and garlic in, and it is just a big melting pot of delicious smells now. I'm letting that cook for about four or five minutes now, and then I will add back in the ground beef, and the spinach, and the oregano, parsley, basil. <laughs> Having a brain fart, I'm so hungry. I've added everything in except for the basil, spinach, and parsley. I'm gonna add that in at the very end, but oh my god, it smells so good. It's done, that was it. It is six o'clock, so it took me an hour to like get everything ready, cook everything, get everything set up. Literally took me an hour, uh, which is not bad at all, including prep and cook. Wow, I sound like a real chef, which I am not. So I'm gonna eat this now and let you know how it is. My blood sugar, 176, so for some reason I am going up. What time did I take insulin? 5.30. It's been about a half an hour, maybe 25 minutes, so hopefully that insulin kicks in soon and I come down. So I'm just gonna use a little bowl to serve this in. Um, usually I eat about half and then save the rest for lunch uh, the next day. All right, so the taste test. Here it is. Whoa. It's really good. The real test is if I can taste the mushrooms because I do not love the um, texture of mushrooms. So if I can if I can put them in here and not notice them, then I will be very happy. 
about to show you my uh, dish I just ate, but it's basically all gone. This was so, so good. And I felt really good like eating it because there's zucchini, spinach, mushrooms in it, which by the way, couldn't taste the mushrooms, so I just ate them all, which is good because I know they have some really good like healthy benefits from eating them. That's it for right now. Now I get to do the super fun part, which is clean everything up. Post eating, I'm 178, so I didn't really go up too much. Um, but I will check in with you, what time is it? It is 6.20 right now. I will check in in an hour and let you know what my blood sugar ended up doing. So let me set a timer on my phone. See you in an hour. So it's an hour after I've eaten and I am 146. I'm going down a little bit. Um, I'm about to go out and go walk to a um, bar because it's Friday night. Um, and so I'm gonna have like a little something just so I don't go low because I kind of think I might have taken a little too much insulin. Yeah, I definitely took way too much insulin. Not way too much, but I could have probably taken, let's see, I took 35 carbs. I could have probably gotten away with 20 or 25. Um, so yeah, I'll update you in another hour though to let you know what my blood sugar is then. I'll probably not be here though, so don't be surprised. All right, so it's now two hours after I've eaten. eaten. Um, there's music going on inside, so I came outside to film this. I am at 90, so I'm coasting. Um, we walked a little bit, so I started dropping from that. Um, but then I think the drink that I'm having, which is like a lemonade, kind of is bringing me up. I will let you guys know what my blood sugar is at the end of the night when I get home. So it's about 10 o'clock now, I'm back home. Um, I'm about 185, so 175. Was right where I wanted to be kind of after I was done eating. I want maybe a little lower, so I think next time I'll take a little less insulin. Again, these are all my like personal facts and opinions on what worked for me, so they might not work for you. So if you do make this recipe, take as much insulin as you feel necessary. Don't take six units like I did, if that's not what you normally do. With that being said, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was kind of different from what I normally do. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, or let me know in the comments. Let me know if you wanna see more recipes. I definitely have others that I could like share with you. I really liked filming this, because I love cooking. It's like a hobby of mine. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and shoot me a message on there if you have any questions about the recipe or anything else.